Hey friends and happy holidays. Tonight, I am hanging out at Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge. I have dinner reservation at Sanaa a little bit later. And plus, we are gonna check out the Christmas decorations at Jumbo and Kadani. So that means there's two trees, a couple two trees. So, let's go do this. Listen to that music. Oh, I absolutely love the Animal Kingdom Lodge during the holidays. It's definitely up there in the top three Christmas trees on Disney property, I feel. I am pretty sure I can say the top three trees are Animal Kingdom Lodge, Wilderness Lodge, and Grand Floridian. That's for me. If you guys have a different set of three, let me know in the comments. But, I mean, those are some pretty good trees. I always love walking in to Jumbo House because you have these doors so it kind of keeps it hidden away but then whoop that's beautiful isn't it as soon as you walk in to the left hand side they have a nice little Christmas tree in the corner here and usually they have somebody here doing some amazing craftsmanship and take a look at this tree like this isn't this isn't the big tree this is just a beautiful elegant tree I absolutely love all of the ornaments and I just love the colors and the colors actually match throughout the whole resort and then we're greeted with a beautiful wreath right here and then for the big tree this is gonna be so beautiful look at this guys holy moly right this is why I say it's up there in the top three absolutely stunning and there's basically nobody here right now Jumbo house has been pretty empty because there's not a lot going on over here they don't have any eateries open so like the lobby is not as busy as it normally is so now's a perfect time to actually enjoy this tree they have some of the coolest looking ornaments I've ever seen. It's just so beautiful. Wow, look at this big bow right here. And it's like a mini bow, kind of. Wow. I love how there's hardly any room underneath the tree. Like it goes all the way down to all the way up. Another really cool thing is all the garland that's actually going around the top two floors here. Just something pretty to look at. I also appreciate seeing all the Christmas lights as they reflect in the glass back here. I have to actually come all the way back here so I can get the full tree in shot because it's that big. But look how pretty that is, isn't it? It looks like there's so many Christmas trees. Oh wow, that is so amazing. The music is just making it 10 times better. It's also really cool to just stare at all the artifacts that they actually have in the lobby. Like, take a look at these masks. This is pretty unbelievable, aren't they? Oh, look at this little guy down here. That's really awesome. I think I'm actually curious to go up a couple of levels and take a look at it from a downward angle just so I can see it from all different angles because it's beautiful. As we make our way to the elevators though, look at the little trees over here too. This is such a nice little cozy corner. Very, very relaxing atmosphere. I feel like I unnecessarily went too far. So now we're actually going back up to the top now. <laughs> Time to go all the way up, fifth floor. Actually, I think it's a lot better from up here on the bridge. Look at that view. I'm just obsessed with the Christmas trees in the lobbies at Walt Disney World. I mean, who wouldn't be? This is beautiful. We also get to take a look at this garland that's hanging from the rails. See if there's anything special about it. I mean, it's all special, but I want to see if they had some really cool ornaments. Like, this is a very nice one. I just absolutely love the color scheming. It fits perfect with the Animal Kingdom Lodge and even the lights, don't you agree? Now I hop back down to the main level because I want to go outside and see if we can see any animals. I know it's a little dark out so it might be a little tough, but you never know and plus it's beautiful out there. Maybe we'll get a little fire as well. You can also hear like the African inspired Christmas music or holiday music right now too, a little bit better. And then take a look at this. A couple more two trees down here. There's a lot of trees in the Animal Kingdom Lodge. All right, now we're outside. 
you know, usually uh, they have a uh, night vision, like goggles that you can actually use to see the animals. But I think because of COVID, they're not doing those anymore. But I'm sure we can see a couple of animals. I can see a lot of sleepy birds right here. I don't want to wake them up, but do you see them there? Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, you do see them. <laughs> that was timed perfectly. Absolutely love that. <laughs> I'm not seeing many animals. I think they're all sleeping. So we're not going to really spend too much time out here because it's a little bit dark. All we got are these little lights to guide our way. Very pretty lights though, but it can get really, really dark. But let me show you guys the view as we're walking back to the main lobby. This is stunning. Look how amazing that is. Isn't it gorgeous? I absolutely love the Animal Kingdom Lodge lobby. This is simply one of the best. Normally they have like a fire pit over here in the corner, but it's not lit at the moment. But if that's going, that's a great place to sit down and relax. Overall, I feel like Wilderness Lodge is probably the better lobby to sit down and relax because you have multiple fireplaces. It's just for the holidays, you know what I mean? This one is right up there too. Grand Floridian, I don't think has a uh, fireplace. I don't know, I just associate Christmas trees with fireplaces. Now I think we're gonna hop on over to Kadani and we're gonna get some dinner and then check out their resort Christmas tree plus all of their decorations. It's very beautiful over there. I don't know if we're gonna drive over, if we're gonna take the actual shuttle or walk. I think walking is 10 minutes, the shuttle runs every 15 minutes. But if we drove here, we might as well just drive over there. I think that's the quickest. If you're not familiar with Animal Kingdom Lodge and how I keep on saying Jumbo and Kadani Village is because there's two different kind of resort areas all surrounding the animal savanna. Right here we are in Jumbo, and then Kadani, like I said, is over on this side. And that's where we're actually gonna have dinner. Right now, because of the current situation, there is nothing to eat over here. So everything is on that side. And it's just as beautiful, just a little bit tinier, a lot more rooms and a lot more space to see the animals though I think we are just gonna actually drive over because I do want to show you the sign out front it's a little bit decorated but it's still really cool to see look at that isn't that beautiful see it's just something to look at it's nice warm inviting I like it a lot Kadani's sign doesn't have any decoration oh, though sorry, did you want me to slow down oh no it's okay, oh, okay sorry. <laughs> It took two minutes to actually drive over. Instead of waiting the 15 minutes, I'm happy we just decided to go. I also want to point out how cool it is that over on Kadani, all the parking is like below. It's kind of like a parking garage and they have themed areas. And this is Timon. So we're going to take the Timon elevator to the lobby. Joining me for dinner is Erica. Jumbo! All things oh, parks. We're going up. We're going up. Thank you. <laughs> Now, Jumbo House actually has the space for a much larger tree. Kadani has a little bit smaller of a lobby, but it's still an actually beautiful tree. And it has a different lighting scheme, which I absolutely adore. Kind of like a fire lighting scheme, isn't it? Look at the lights. This is a much smaller lobby. Most Disney Vacation Club like lobbies are like this, but I like it. I love the color scheming. This is a beautiful spot. And it has some different ornaments on it as well, including this little hidden Mickey down here. I'm so happy I spotted that, but I absolutely love this tree. It's not as big as the other one, but it's definitely got some charm. Erica actually just pointed out a couple of hidden Mickeys. See, I caught the first one that was over there. Now look, there's another one there and another one there. It looks like there's a couple different hidden Mickeys in this tree. That makes it a lot more funner. It's also interesting to point out that the lights from the tree actually have a reflection here too. Not as much as you would see over on the other side. Oh, and I see some little bitty trees over there. I'm gonna go check those out too. Just on the other side of the lobby, they have another little sitting area with a bunch of little garland and even its own little Christmas tree in here. Erica actually is switching out. She brought an extra pair of shoes. Just in case we started hiking. No, you brought them for fashion. Look at that. <laughs> They're animal cheetah print. Cheetah print. 
cheetah print. For Animal Kingdom Lost. They match my tattoo. Ooh, Hakuna Matata. And because we have a couple minutes before our actual reservation at Sanaa, I want to show you guys one of the coolest resort rooms on Disney World property. This is a two-story resort room. So that means you have two floors. Pretty crazy, right? And here it is. This is the two-story, three-bedroom Kadani Village Villa here. Take a look at this. First of all, let's point out the Simba right there because that is awesome. And then this is a two-story balcony, I believe. Yeah, so you have a balcony up top and then a balcony here. It is a savannah view, so you can actually look out. Right now it's a little dark, so we're not gonna be able to see anything, but it is absolutely gorgeous in here. This is the kitchen kind of dining room area. And like I said, two stories. Take a look up there. That's insane, isn't it? There is one master bedroom on the first floor and then two more bedrooms on the second floor. It sleeps up to 14 people, I believe. This is such, this is like one of the biggest, I think, uh, rooms actually. This is, this is actually really big. <laughs> this is the first bedroom in here. This is the master bedroom. Oh, wow. Look at that headboard. Oh, that is amazing. It's got its own private balcony for the Savannah. Just unbelievable. And then you have a master bath. Comes with a pretty large TV. A nice stand-up shower. Oh, look at the shower. That is so awesome. And then a jacuzzi tub. Can't beat that. Now we're gonna actually go upstairs and I'll show you that one up there. How awesome is it that you have stairs in your Disney room resort? <laughs> Disney room resort. Look at this. It's like you get two living rooms too. This has gotta be one of the best, literally one of the best rooms on property. Like I said, two beds, wow. And then another bathroom. And then across the hall here, look at that view. Can you imagine watching the sunrise in here? This is unbelievable. Yep, right over here. We have a, another bathroom and another bedroom. Unbelievable. Outside, just to give you a little perspective, you have this balcony, which we're standing on that balcony across the way there and then the whole balcony that runs below us it's unbelievable you also have two different entry points so you can actually go up to the top floor and actually have a door here or down on the second floor downstairs you actually have your own entryway so you have two different entry and exit ways and you can use the main elevator in case you can't climb the steps now that we checked out that room, it's time to get down to Sanaa. It's time for our reservation. I'm excited. I've never had dinner here. Only breakfast, and I absolutely loved it. So something new. The reason this restaurant is so cool is because you're basically dining on the savanna. Now, we're not going to be able to see many animals because, you know, it's dark out right now. But it's still got an amazing vibe to it. We are all checked in for dinner and we're just waiting for him to let us know when the table's ready. So we'll actually go out in the Savannah viewing area and see if we can't see any animals over here. They have to be really close to the viewing areas for us to see it because there's no lights out there. I don't want to keep the sleeping animals awake all night. It's actually a little chilly outside too. I like it. Well, we're not seeing any animals out here, really. They have some nice rocking chairs, and they would have a big fire pit right here, too, but they're not doing the fire pit. It's hard to socially distance people when everyone's gathered by the fire. But taking a look out there, like I said, we don't see much. All the animals are sleepy for the night. But just take a look at the tree from the outside. This is beautiful, isn't it? I feel like I've said beautiful a lot today. Of course, us being at Sanaa, and it's actually Erica's first time at Sanaa, we have to get the bread service. I mean, <laughs> we have to get the bread service. I feel like that is the most notorious thing. 
For drinks, they have a couple specialty cocktails. Looks like we have a mango margarita, an African star mojito. That actually sounds pretty delicious. And then a coconut cooler. Wow, these all seem actually really nifty. And these are specialty cocktails for the Sanaa itself, not like your normal ones. And like I said earlier, we're definitely getting an appetizer. Uh, well, the Indian style bread service. And then I don't know what I'm getting for dinner yet. And the bread service has arrived. Take a look at this. It is so delicious. All the different na bread. And then the sauces actually start sweet and go all the way around to actually spicy. I'm excited. This is one of my favorite dishes here. As you can see for the entrees, they actually have some really unique dishes here. A nice little African inspired by name. And then they have it with chicken and also shrimp. I think I'm gonna get the chicken. Maybe Eric is gonna get the shrimp. Step back a couple of seconds ago, I totally butchered the name of that dish. It is called Briane. So I'm getting the chicken, Eric is getting the shrimp, and now we're gonna enjoy our bread before our Briane. And look at this right here a hidden Mickey. I like the way you made that work right there, right? Yeah. <laughs> I can tell you guys right now, I won't be starting off with the very sweet one. I think I'm gonna jump right to the pineapple chutney. Level two. Level two. And that'll be my first one. So this is the level two. And that is definitely mango, not <laughs> pineapple. I don't know what I'm doing today. Anywho's, I really enjoy it. It has a little, little, little tiny spice, not much. I can't remember, the last time I actually had this, I had it with uh, my mom, actually. I took my mom here, and uh, I don't remember which one I had that I liked the most, but I know she didn't like any of it. <laughs> like, I remember that. <laughs> now I'm trying level three, but with a different type of bread. There are five different types of bread, and like I said, all the different sauces, so the combinations are endless. Well, actually not endless, but there's a there's a high number <laughs> and now our drinks have arrived erica got the mango margarita and i got the african inspired mojito very fancy cheers huh cheers to that cheers Ching. so far we've accomplished almost all of these on the sweet side and they're all very good. Erica just said this is basically hummus. I didn't try it because I don't like the way it looks. And I'm not sure about that one either, but I'm gonna try it. And uh, now we're gonna get brave and try more of the spicier side. Erica, can you please break bread? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, how is your spice level? I cannot handle spice. You cannot I'm handle. Green. All right, so now we are on the green one. We gotta see how you handle this. No pressure. No, it's not spicy. No spice. No spice. Okay, good, good. Did I just use Erica to basically tell me if that's spicy before I try it or not? I did. So <laughs> now I'm gonna try the green one. <laughs> but I wanted her to try it first because if she said it was spicy, I wouldn't have eaten it. <laughs> Good news though, it was not spicy and I actually enjoyed it a lot. It was kind of like a, a pesto. And while we were eating the bread, it looks like our actual main entrees came out. Wow. That's the chicken right there. This looks so delicious, doesn't it? Yeah, and then that's the shrimp over there. Yummy. Very fancy. So I guess we'll, I guess, hop in between bread service and just entree because this is like not like your normal appetizer. This takes a while to eat. There's a whole lot. I forgot to let you know that the mojito is absolutely amazing. I don't know what it is but i've been on a mojito kick recently and this is like a unique like turn on a mojito it's an african inspired mojito it's absolutely delicious very refreshing but now we gotta try this chick oh wow that chicken just fell apart that's so awesome get a little bit of chicken a little bit of rice aha uh -huh. perfect all right the perfect combination. Yeah, 
yeah, that is absolutely amazing. The chicken is the perfect texture. I like how they actually have the good grill marks on it. And I just love the rice and the sauce. I don't know what they got going on there. It's got a little spice to it, but very delicious. I am absolutely enjoying my food. And there is actually a little bit of almonds and some fried onions. I didn't even notice any of this. Erica was pouring it out for me. And then there was a Brussels sprout in there. I love Brussels sprouts. So I like dubbed around and I found a Brussels sprout. Very cool. And I like when you get surprises in your food. <laughs> I love surprises, you know? It's like you weren't expecting, because all it does is say uh, seasonal vegetables. So I didn't know I was getting Brussels sprouts, but there they were, and I was like, yes, I love Brussels sprouts. <laughs> the spice is definitely in everything, and it's just a little delayed. It's not overwhelming, though, I feel like. Before I actually get too full, because it's not like I'm not gonna eat all of my entree, which I may have already done, I think I'm gonna try the last two actual sauces and those are supposed to be the spicier ones i mean it's not like extreme spice but the dish itself that we had was spicy already so might as well go all in you know so i'm gonna jump right to the spiciest and we're gonna use my favorite bread just so it can help you know i'm gonna be the guinea pig this time so How you doing that, sir? Mm. Are you getting defeated? That was the spicy one. Yeah. <laughs> it's got a little bit of a spice. Yeah. A little bit. A little bit. She's diving in to the second most spiciest sauce there. I, see I don't know. Olives. Oh, you got some olives in there? Uh -huh. Spice? No spice? Delicious. There is a cake, but mm -mm, it's not that spicy. At all. Not that spicy. Hmm. Honestly, I feel like the actual main course was spicier than all the sauces, but I want to show you what my favorite sauce was actually. Mine definitely had to be this green sauce right here. I really liked it. What was your favorite, Erica? I liked that one. Yes, well. Is that the one that was kind of like cinnamon? Yeah, it just had a deeper flavor. Oh. But yeah, and these aren't that spicy actually. The last two, not compared to the dish. So like if you can handle like a little spice, they're really not that bad. It's also cool because from our table, we can see the reflection of the Christmas tree up there. That's really nifty. <laughs> Anywho, I absolutely love dinner tonight. Couldn't finish all the bread. Uh, that's because I did finish my whole entire meal. But this is just an experience, something amazing to do, especially if you're staying at Animal Kingdom Lodge or if you just want to have a fun day out. Now we are finished and I'm a little full, so we're going to make our way back over to Jumbo House. One last look at the tree before we go, though. Like I said, it's what I love. Do you hear that drumming in the elevator? I hear it. That's why I'm dancing. Oh, <laughs> there's drums in Hi. here. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Now we're back at Jumbo House and I can hear that African inspired Christmas music. It's so loud. <laughs> and right here is actually the bus that goes back and forth from Jumbo House to Kidani. Look at it, it's got little animal print on the side of it. I feel like now that we're back at Jumbo House, I want to go up to the bridge and actually say goodbye because that was my favorite place to actually stand and look at the tree. And it's just such a good angle. It is just such a beautiful viewing area, isn't it? So happy I came here tonight. Look at the whole lobby down there. And with that, I think we are done here for the night. What a fun evening I had today. I enjoyed both of the trees. Which one was your favorite? Did you like the smaller one in Kidani? Or the much bigger one here in Jumbo House? And I absolutely enjoyed my dinner. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye!